Yo, YouTubers, Taz man here bringing you another episode of Learn JavaScript with Foundry VTT. And I just finished recording the other one, so I already gave you a warning that my voice might get really bad. I did pop in a Jolly Rancher to kind of wet my whistle or my throat. Um, hopefully coat it a little bit so that my voice doesn't get all gravelly. But uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> so as you can see, obviously, because uh, this is back to back, we're still in version 11 build 603. Uh, there hasn't been uh, one that uh, an update to version 11 in the last five minutes that I know of. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in and start with our 17C. So 17C and string manipulation. And put it in our fundamentals folder. And there we go, string manipulation. Now we need, right here, close that, and that. All right, so in the last episode, we talked about um, to uppercase, to lowercase, um, a lot of things about checking if some values might be in your string at the beginning, at the end, uh, or if it just generally is in the string. Um, what else do we do? Replace, replace all, trim for white space, all that fun stuff. I think that's actually pretty much everything we did do. Um, so let's go ahead and hit F12 and continue on with our errors. With it telling us that our screen is too small. Maybe we could fix that a little if we did something like that. Alright, so moving on, we're going to talk about the next thing. And to do so, I have a constant again or a variable that we're going to use for this part. And this is my druid that I have. His name is Umis. He's a ghostwise halfling druid hermit. So that is his name, uh, race, class, and his background. And that will be important in a minute. All right, so what we're going to learn is the split. And Split is really good for uh, giving us splitting our string and we can actually say what we want to, uh, what the delimiter is for it. I, I think the best way is just to show you. <laughs> so we're going to take this and we're going to do con as a log why I'm here, might as well do this. And, uh, actually I didn't need strings in there. Uh, we're gonna say tune, tune, and we're gonna do dos split. And it, and we're gonna split on the spaces. And so if we clear this and run it, you'll see, oh, I didn't do split on the spaces. I did split basically on every character. So you can see here, it kind of actually split everything based off of kind of that array that we've talked about um, of, our, of our string. But if we do this the way I wanted, now you see it's actually splitting each one into oops, its individual words. Now this is really handy to use with say destructuring. So uh, I'm gonna, I didn't, let's go ahead and put my comment, I didn't add that. Uh, there's our constant. So split is a method to split up a string based on a delimiter. We can also uh, use split very handedly, if that's really a word, 
with the structuring. So we'll take that same thing and let's say, uh, let's do C-O-N-S-T. So remember, the structuring is where we take something like an array and we destructure it into individual variables. And we do that by almost making it look like we're setting up an array for our variables. So in this case, we'll say name, comma, race, comma, class. I'm going to do CLS, uh, comma, background. And then we say equals, and we could actually just do this tune split. And there we go, we've destructured it. And then, sorry, I just chewed up my Jolly Rancher. And then if I wanted to access any of these individual things, because what it's creating is saying Umis is the first thing, it's going to be the name. Halfling is the race, Druid is the class, Hermit is the background. So if I wanted to access that class, I could uh, do something like this. I could do, we can say console.log and go ahead and do our string literal and let's say C-L-A-S-S and colon and then here we'll go and we simply say um how did i do that here actually i did it with two uh so i did name not jane najim uh N -A -M -E, and we did uh, this and then i did a I think I did a new, actually I didn't do a comma, I just did a new one. So if we do this and say name, and this one say CLS, you'll see that splitting works really well for, uh, for destructuring. <laughs> I can't think. All right, so let's move on to our next one. I'm going to go ahead and take a console log, so we have a little space there. Clear that while we're at it. Uh, we also have, wait, did I do, join? did I scroll up too far? Hold on a second. We did trim. I kind of feel like I already did this one in like the last episode, but. I guess we didn't. Huh. Seems weird. All right. So we're going to do the join method. And let's go ahead. I'm going to copy our little thing here and paste it. Just to get the semicolon. All right. So join is a method to stitch multiple strings together. And what we can do with this. And this one, if I'm right, this was the one that seems a little strange. Because, um, yes, it is a string, but when you're doing it, it kind of looks like uh, more of an array than normal. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a constant. Uh, this will be our paladin. This will be his last name. Like so, last name, and his last name is Sir Garrett Voidthorn. So, Voidthorn. So, we have Voidthorn, and then we're going to have another uh, string called full name. Yep. Uh, so, const f u l o name equals. And the reason I, I say this is going to look like an array, because technically it is an array, but what the join is going to do is take that array and join everything together. Um, so we're going to have, uh, I'm going to put a space before this for, you'll find out why. So I'm going to do sir, and then we'll do, um, actually I think 
thorn along the space at the end. Yes. Okay. And whoops. Uh, we're going to do G A R R E T, I think is how I spell it. Yep. Garrett, and then comma, and we'll just stick last name in there. Like so. So the join method will go on the end of this, just like we have everything else. And what we do is we tell it what we want to put between these. Because right now, you know, if I were to print this out, first name or full name would be basically a comma delimited type of thing. In fact, I guess we could do that real quick. Let's do console.log. And we'll just do uh, parentheses. And we'll say uh, this full name colon we'll do a comma and we'll do F -E -L -L name like so and semicolon so you'll see what we get is we get this basically array of three things we have them comma separated so with the join we're saying okay I want to take it and instead of you know being Sir Garrett Voidthorn with nothing there which I believe if we do join and we say, uh, you know, nothing like that, it'll just turn it into one giant word. So yeah, void thorn. So what we're doing is saying what we want it to be turned into. Now this can be handy because like web URLs and stuff can't have spaces and a lot of times they'll use the plus. So if I wanted to do that, I could come in here and say plus and now if we execute it, you'll see Sir plus Garrett plus Voidthorn. In this case, we're fine with spaces. So we'll go ahead and just do a space and clear that. And you'll see now we have Sir Garrett Voidthorn just as we expect it to be. Now, of course, it has two spaces here because we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, but uh, there's a very good reason we have that. All right, so the next uh, method we're going to talk about, let's see a bunch more carriage returns in here, is going to be the repeat. And I'm absolutely sure you guys can guess. I, oops, I hate when it does that. All right, uh, I'm sure you could completely guess what this does and be 100% correct. So repeat. No, no. This is where it's not good to be a kind of a perfectionist that you always want everything to be. Oh, it's a little bad. Uh, so the repeat is a method uh, to repeat, obviously, uh, to repeat a string X amount of times. So if you've ever been in detention, you know, uh, you know, and you were told, well, I guess we'll just let's say our wizard got in trouble for using Firebolt. So we're going to create a variable here called detention and they're supposed to write this, you know, 50 times or something on the chalkboard. So using programming, we can do this really quickly. We can actually just say C-O-N-S-O-L-E dot log and say detention. So there's detention and then repeat and then how many times we want to repeat it. So if we want it 50 times, we're gonna cut that way down because it'll just take a lot of space. Um, we just do that and look at that. Our wizard is now done with their detention. They did it. Firebolt is not a toy. Uh, we're gonna cut this down just to five, maybe something like that, just so that we don't have a huge thing every time we run it. So that is the repeat. And the one thing you can't do, for example, with this is, you know, this isn't a variable that's being created. So we could actually have it count, you know, and say one, two, three, four, five. In that case, it would be a lot better to actually do it with a loop where you can create a variable as a counter and actually keep track of how many times it's been. Basically, this is just going to repeat exactly what the string is that many times 
no additions or anything like that unless we stuck it here but then it's just going to repeat that so if we actually said you know um, let's do that and say comma and let's say you know oh I wish I had some kind of variable in here as one you'll see it'll do it on the first one but it's not doing it on the other ones because it's not part of detention I hope that makes sense detention is what the repeat is on not the actual phrase that is being console logged all right moving on now we're actually gonna be why we have these spaces here and this this is kind of a tricky one to talk about um, but this is padding um, and what padding does is there's a, a pad start and a pad end and what it will do is allow you to put some kind of padding at the beginning of a string and at the end however it might not be exactly what you're thinking like if I have a string here uh, called I think I have uh, da, da, we just did Sir Garrett actually the, I remember I changed this so it would fit better so we have our string like this and this is why I actually had the single space before and after up here technically I don't need these because in my original one I was going to use this exact example but here we're just going to use Sir Garrett as maybe first name or first full I don't know Sir Garrett that's that's going to be his name and I put the space here just so you can see a little better what is going on so Sir Garrett here is I think it was 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 12. Sir Garrett is 12 characters long, right? If I wanted to pad this and say clnsole dot log, let's say I wanted to stick this, this is how you would look at this and think maybe how it works. So I want to go first name. And what you do is you tell it how much padding you want in the oh I didn't put I didn't paste that the pad start a method again <laughs> to put some padding at the beginning of a string so what we would do is we would say pad start and now here you would think okay I want three maybe stars in front of him or something like that so I would say uh, three and then I would say what I want now in this case let's say I wanted like a tilde and a zero or an O and a tilde right so I say I want this well let's go ahead and run this and see what we get let's see if it's what you think we're gonna get there it is so as you can see we're not actually seeing anything and the reason for that is padding is going to look for the lack of anything in the string and append it to it. However, it's based off of the entire string. So in this case, uh, we're not seeing anything there. And the reason for that is because Sir Garrett, Void uh, Sir Garrett is 12 characters long and we're saying we want three padding but Sir Garrett is more than three now if we only had an S in here let's just do an S probably should have control Z because I'm a slow typer I'm gonna hit control C first so now this is only one character long and we're saying we want padding three what we're gonna see is it's going to pad it with two additional right so if we execute now you see we have that that and that so what the padding wants is the total length of the string so if the string 
it, it has to be greater than the string's length. And we've learned ways we can do that. So one is we have this three here because we want it to be three, right? Let's change this back to Sir Garrett before I forget. So what we can do is we can get the length because we know how to get the length of it. We could actually say uh, fir first name dot length, which is a property. And then we can add three onto that, which is going to say, okay, 12 plus three. So now we know there's actually gonna be three additional characters, which is exactly what we have here. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so if we run this, now you'll see we actually get that nice little tilde circle tilde uh, and the space, and that's why I put the space. If I didn't have the spaces here, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't see that space. Now I could actually get rid of that space and that space and make up for it here because this is going to be the beginning. I want this to be four additional, and now we'll see the exact same thing. So here you can see, now it looks identical to what we had before. So we don't have those spaces, and that's fine. You can do it either way. Um, just for my example, it seemed easier to have it that way, but we'll leave it this way. So as with pad start, we also have pad end. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Looks like we're at 21 minutes, so I'm gonna do a lot of cutting and pasting again. So I'm gonna hit control here a lot. And the pad end is going to be basically the same thing, uh, but it's going to pad at the end of the, the string. So I'm gonna hit uh, do control C there and control V here. And we'll fix this also to, because we got rid of that, we'll change that to four. And now because it's at the end, we want it to be the words and then a space and then our little tilde. So what do you think? I want to, this is a quiz. We've now seen what happened to first name with pad start. What do you think the full thing of this is going to be? I'm going to go ahead and clear it and we'll see if you're right. So obviously we need to maybe shrink this down just a little so we can get it on the line. Oh, uh, this is an, it was first name. There we go. Anyway, what I wanted to point out in this case, oops, I think I did it wrong again. This, no, this is first name. Both of them were first name. Yeah, first name, first name. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, that, that's how I want that. All right. Finally. So if you were thinking it would have this guy in front and this guy in the back, this is not, we're not assigning a variable to be uh, the first name with Sir, uh, we're not assigning it to have the padding and then using that value. That's why we're seeing two individual, but you'll see it's actually doing exactly what we want. It's the length of the thing and then we're adding four which is just enough to do this. If we wanted it to be all zeros, you know, little O's, you'll see that now we have Sir Gerto. <laughs> ah, control Y. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that, have that, do tilde O tilde. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually quickly do it where we're using it together. And once again, this is going to use chaining. So as you can see here, we need to change all these to first. So we have more space, so first. And we need to, well, here we're having dollar signs. But that's okay. Now there is a difference here that I wanted to point out. So you can see we're kind of doing the same thing here uh, with our, well, this is just going to put it against the edges. Actually, it looks like we renamed first Sir Garrett again. Um, and this time I'm, I'm going to leave it this way with the spaces here. 
and there's a reason for that because I want the spaces there so here you can see first name let me just do this before I forget first name there so as we've learned about uh, chaining is that basically what this is going to do is pad start here is going to look at this and say that it is first name dot length and it's going to return that basically it will be now what's on this side of the period of pad end will be the first name with those uh, dollar signs in it so now our length is actually changed however that's just the console output so what we need to do is compensate for that and because we're adding three here we need to add three to the end but we need to make up for the three that's here but we haven't actually changed first name hopefully that makes sense to you we're passing it first name with our thing to this guy so we need to get the still the name of first name but we need to make up for the three here plus the three we want at the end so what this is going to do is put dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign space sir garrett do, uh, space dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign and like i said hopefully that makes sense to you uh but as you can see it works exactly as we want it to now if we assign that we wouldn't have to make up for that the three that is appended here all right the final thing i was going to do was something a little fun so Sir Garrett, he is a paladin, and <clears throat> he has a paladin ID number, kind of like a credit card number. So you've probably seen where, you know, you, you uh, are looking online, and it says this is the last four of your credit card number, and then it has a bunch of whatever replacing it. That's what we're doing here. So this is Sir Garrett's paladin ID number. And what we want to do is make it so these are all replaced with hashtags and this is all that's shown as the 9135. So our little function here, we're passing it in and it's being turned into the word number or the variable number. Technically, we really didn't need to do that. However, if this was an actual number, we would need to convert it to a string. Now we could do that with the str or if we even simply just did something like this, where we're appending a string, or whoops, that's not appending, sorry, uh, where we are, did it twice, appending a string onto it, that would also convert it to a string. In this case, I already have it set up as a string, so we're not gonna worry about it. So num string here, we're gonna slice the last four digits off of it because we did the slice with a negative four so it's going to start here and it's going to go one two three four and assign that to last four then what we're going to do is on last four we're going to pad with the number length which is the entire numbers length which will be this whole thing and we're going to replace it with hashtags now remember our current uh, number length of last num is only four, but we're saying number length of the entire thing, but it's not gonna replace those last four. So if we run this, we'll see that now we get hashtag, 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 and 9135, which is the last four of his thing there, 9135. All right, so, um, that will wrap up string manipulation. Um, I think I did okay at explaining it. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave uh, comments and ask them, and I will do my darndest to explain it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my discords and my other channels. Um, tell other people about my channel. I'm checking it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.